What's up everybody? Fundamentals class number seven. We're gonna be going over front tackle defense, standing guillotine choke, and then punch defense from the guard today. So uh, these, are, these are gonna be you know, a, a broad range of situations and we'll see quite a bit of defense against uh, strikes today uh, in, in, in ways to control posture to reduce that damage when somebody's trying to hit us, okay? Uh, we'll also see where we're gonna throw strikes as well. Okay, so we're just gonna uh, kind of breeze through uh, some of the um, warm-ups that we commonly do. This is kind of a review on this, uh, on this beginning of this class to kind of warm up. We're not gonna be using all these for the warm-up, but again, that's kind of a, a practice we really try and do in class, okay? So, uh, Michael, let's just do some break falls. Let's start off, I do like a back fall uh, in a technical stand-up. Back fall, technical stand-up. Oh, good, chin tuck, breathe out. Good, nice. Nice, good, come back, we'll just do two and two. Come back, same thing, flip it around, good. Nice. Good. Good. Let's do side fall. Two down and two back. Good. Good. Coming back with this. Good. Way to get up a nice, a nice uh, base. Okay. Now let's do uh, forward rolls. Forward rolls of the slap, then technical stand up. Mm -hmm. yeah, good and then slap on us, right? Sometimes, like you really like when you do it from standing. Mm -hmm. uh, we we used to, uh, you know in judo class we would do uh, we call them a running roll. Okay, so it'll be like this. I'll show you real quick. There you go here. Right. That's, that's something different. And it's not that it's not applicable. It's good to kind of figure out how to ride that momentum and come up. But here, um, we're using the slap. We're thinking like, oh, hey, somebody did that. Uh, we have a guillotine defense where you essentially do a forward roll. Uh, when, when somebody throws you, right, uh, to defend, the person getting thrown does a forward roll. And that's the case on many takedowns, right? So here, we're using that to break fall to slap. Let's do that again, forward roll to slap. Nice, and then get up in base. Good. Good. Yeah, one more coming back. Good, nice. Then just hip escapes. Hip escapes down and back. Mm -hmm. Good, invert that heel. Knee planted to the floor. Nice. Good, but shoulder walk coming back. Flip it around, shoulder walk coming back. Mm -hmm. Keep those feet relatively close. Very good, very good. Nice. Okay, good practice on stepping out after you stand up. Just, uh, you know, positive habits. As many of them as we can make and as many of the bad ones as we can get rid of. You know, that's, the, that's always the goal. Okay, so um, now let's do um, some kind of what we say, you know, those are line drills. Let's do kind of some stationary movement. Uh, let's just get you right here, uh, kind of head facing this way on your back. And let's raise your hips and uh, feet are close to your, to your butt. And if you're bridging this way, you know, you're pressing off this leg a little bit more, okay? And let's have that practice of moving the head and, and right, and then to kind of, kind of turning and reaching all in unison. So kind of, Side to side, go. Yes, keep that movement perpetual. Mm, yes. Pressing with one, turning your knees the direction you're bridging. Very good. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Now, um, <clears throat> one of the ones we saw uh, in some of the last classes was the needle thread. Okay, so let's like kind of turn on your side like you're hip escaping. Good, now hip out a little bit, thread that needle through. Uh-huh, and, and poke this leg underneath. Boom, there you go, good. Okay, now, um, so, watch this. So, 
here, like that, okay? So there's that bridging style, and then there's more of a hip escape style, right? So here, right, I can just turn belly down with it, right? Or I can extract taking my hips up in the air, okay? And then we were talking about a version with like a reverse needle thread where we kind of scissor our legs, right? Like here, right, if I'm, uh, I'm hipping out and I'm stepping over, right? We did that one with my, the hands on the hip. We talked about that one last time, okay? So just, just think about that needle thread a little bit. And it's like, we just started reviewing that last class, okay? So on your back. Step out, hip out, needle thread through. Uh-huh, good. All fours and sit through. Good. Okay, go ahead and go again. Step out, hip out. All right, good. Nice. Good, one more. Nice. Okay, so um, with this one now, uh, we'll call this one uh, the same thing that like Hickson calls it, Jack, all those all those guys that um, I follow, right? And I, this is a great one um, for all levels. It's we uh, call it the teeter totter, right? So you're just rocking back and forth, right? Almost like a, really like a rocking chair, okay? So. Um, the, the idea on this is have a seat real quick. I'm gonna try and circle around you. Oh, and I was able to do that, right? So, you know, this is a really good base you're sitting in. You can get up from here, but if I circle around, sometimes you have to um, maintain, you have to stay square, okay? And instead of like, you know, hipping around, what we'll do is we'll fall back. Okay, stand up real quick. Okay, so circle around to this side. Right, then I will, oh, something like that, okay? Circle around to this side. See what I'm doing with my arms on the mat? Circle out of the way. Circle that way. Does that make sense? Okay, so have a seat like right here. And I'm gonna circle this way, and I want you to kind of fall back, almost like you're doing a back fall, but you're not slapping the mat. You're using the backs of your arms and your, and your form to help spin you, okay? Use those arms on the mat. Here, watch me again, stand up. Circle around. See that? Yeah, right, so if, you're, if you're here, it's okay. Circle that way. See, see this, right? On my up kick from there, you might go to step in. This is not what we're getting into on punch defense today, but this is one of our uh, phases of being able to defend. You know, somebody's not always gonna be like we see today in our guard, and we have to defend from there. Sometimes we'll do a good job at that, and they will start retreating out. And then it'll end up being something like this. You try and circle, and I fall back. Okay, have a seat again. Okay. I'm gonna circle around, so, so you're seated here. I'm gonna circle around, you're falling back. Think, think like, almost if that's like single butterfly, you know, and you're falling back into like a double butterfly. Yes. Good, and you can come up for here just for this one, right? So just set with both knees up, right? Now, um, let's say if I were to come in, put both hands behind you. Lift your hips up a little bit, All right? Not that much. So like, if I'm pushing back, lean forward. That's your base here. If I'm pulling you, lean backwards. Good, All right? Come to seated, All right? Also, if I push you, you can lean into it forward here, lean. Kind of like we see, it, yeah, it's, it's not, not perfect, but it can, it can shock absorb and help you overcome. Now, when I go this way, you fall back on those arms. Yeah. See, yeah, but yeah, let's say you want to get up in base. Yes, that's when you'll be adding in everything else you've seen in other classes. So this is kind of like a transitional movement and a drill for guard retention, okay? So 
go back in the center. I'm gonna go around this way, retain guard. Stay in the center, retain guard. Okay, now go this way, come up into seated base with a uh, hand behind you, and let's do a technical stand up. Good, okay, nice. All right, so um, that was good, teeter totter drill. Let's get into defense against the front tackle, okay? So we're not even going to think in the traditional sense of like, oh, dude, yeah, double leg takedown. Yeah, double leg takedowns are good. Um, and it's good to know how to defend against them. Uh, and we will see some of that. We'll see the double leg takedown in some later classes. But this is, we're thinking like an untrained person. You know, when I first started training, there was this guy, he's a good friend of mine, very strong. He, you know, we we were out of high school a little bit. I saw him, I'm like, dude, I've been training this jujitsu. It's sick. And he's like, bro, I just tackle you. And um, I was like, do it. And he did. It was a good tackle, but he was tapping before we hit the mat to a standing guillotine. And that's what we're going to see. Or it was like, you know, it's a, almost a guard pull guillotine. We're going to see that in a later class with this grouping of three classes. Okay, so this is class seven. I believe that's class nine that we pull. You know, we, we're getting taken down. Well, okay, you, you, you tackled me. I was late. I can still finish. Today, it's going to be all about standing and finishing and finding base and then also doing some strikes. All right. So to stand in your sort of neutral base here, these are bent. Hands are up. And just step back into that four point base, that staggered stance. Good. Move forward a little bit closer to me. That staggered stance and have this foot out a little bit more in the back. Right. That, the front foot facing here, right? And I, yeah, that's pretty good. Bend your knees. Probably side back and just a disc of half inch or so. Good. Okay. Nice. And we'll try and go around your face. Good. Okay. So, you know, again, it's, I need to be mobile with my base, not just always rigid. Okay. So, what we're going to, one of the things we're going to be doing is when somebody is going to be doing a tackle, we're going to step back here and we're going to put our hands out to stop right and I like what you're doing with your shoulders there and it, it's just gonna be on the tops of the shoulders right there and look here that's stopping strikes or strangles if you start trying to tuck my head down okay so uh, the standing tackle will look like this I'm just gonna kind of come in like this right like I'm trying to do a uh, Poor form double leg takedown. I'd right? say I, I didn't adhere to these ideas of, oh, I, I don't want to get my head over my knee or my foot because I can get hit with knees or uppercuts or things coming in. We, we're trying to learn how to think that way in this class. Oh, I need to maintain base and posture, not just kind of run in haphazard. Okay? So that's kind of a, a front tackle there. That's what we're going to be doing. Okay? So you're going to see me approaching from, from you know, how far away? That far, right? From here. And what I want you to do is go step into neutral. Good. Is you're going to shock absorb here, stepping back into base. That's all we're doing right now, okay? So um, first, I'm just going to come into you. I'm not even going to be doing the tackle. Find that base with the hands on the shoulders. A little, little uh, wait till I get a little closer, right? Right as I'm getting there. Good. Good enough. Find your base. Lean into me. Weight forward in the toes. Good. Shove those shoulders up. Nice. Okay, good. Just in neutral base. It's just good. boom. Good. One more time. Okay, so what we need to be able to do when we get that base and what we found a base and, and we're holding, okay? So here, what we need to be able to do is we need to be able to knee. So I'm gonna be putting weight into this front leg so I can knee, right? So imagine when that front tackle's there, look where my head's at, okay? Also, kind of bend down like you're going for my legs, right? When you bend down like that, look how what's here. You've got the elbow strike, you've got the guillotine, and because your head 
is in front of this knee and your toes, I've also got a, pull, a snap down. I just pull you forward to the ground, okay? So that, those are our options. Let's look at those in some, uh, some different ways and in some sequences, okay? So <clears throat> I'm gonna come in for the front tackle. I want you to find base, and then I want you to throw a knee with your, your back leg. Okay, so just normal stance, yeah, neutral. I'm coming in, you're stepping back, defending, holding, knee, and then we'll reset. Good, good. I came in real fast on you, all right, sorry. Here I am, rushing you. Good, a little bit with your palms more on the fronts of my shoulders. Yes, and then like hooking over. Okay. Bad. Good. Don't rush that knee. Fine base. Oh, nice. And see when you knee, my set's gonna poke my hips back, but then also you kind of felt like I'm coming forward. You can redirect the head. But just hold, hold, knee, hold, and then release. Okay, and then we'll start adding. Hold, knee, hold. Nice, nice, that was really good. Do that one one more time. Face, knee, face. Good, okay. Now, here's what we wanna do next. Um, let's do the knee and then do the pull down, okay? So literally all you're gonna do is go in kind of for my legs, knee, and then I step back, just like I'm stepping back into base, but I put both hands on your back and I pull you forward and down, okay? So I want you to base, knee, base, snap down, okay? So here, base, knee, base, good. That was really good. Okay, let's do that again, neutral stance, base. Knee base. Very nice. Okay. Um, now, let's look also at the downward elbow. Okay. 12 to 6. If you were holding me like this, it would be good here. All right. If you're going and your, your back is down, it's good here. Right on the back of the neck of the spot. All right. It's not anything, it's illegal in sports to do that to people. So, it, you know, it's, it's kind of the idea, so like, well, what do we want for self-defense? Probably the things that are fouls in, in sports like MMA. Like, oh, I want to be able to defend against those fouls in this way, right? Um, so that's a really good way of looking at it, okay? So let's do this, let's um, go base, knee, and now I just want you to touch on that 12 to 6 elbow on the back of the spine, okay? Then after that, let's snap me down, okay? So, neutral, base, knee, base, elbow, snap down, good, okay? So when you have this, kind of go down through my legs a little bit, when you have this, and you knee, boom, here. Like, look how I slipped forward a little bit, and boom, oh. right? So you can just kinda, kinda off that knee, you base, and then you, boom, right? You kinda slide forward and up, and that's kinda, kinda how you can get into it, okay? A little bit forward. Base, knee, boom, snap, nice. Think the knee forces hips back, the elbow already gets me going down, and then you just continue that, okay? Now, if I'm here, all I have to do is redirect the head for the guillotine. Okay, so I wanna do the guillotine, and then I wanna do something like the knee to the guillotine, because it bends you over a little bit more, okay? So stack down, that's great. Elbow, that's great. Again, in this class, we're not teaching punches really. Hammer fists, palm strikes, elbows. Those come up. When we teach punches, it's how to defend against them. 
in here, okay? So it's not that, you know, oh, punching's bad. You know, unless we spend a whole, whole bunch of time for it, it's real easy to break your hand, right? Like me hitting your skull on the ground and it being, you know, oh, I accidentally hit you here and that might seem like it hurts you, but it can also break my hand, okay? You start hitting bone on bone with these knuckles, they just, they don't hold up, okay? So that's why we have boxing gloves, MMA gloves. We don't have that in self-defense, okay? So I really like the likelihood of you breaking your hands very small here, very small here, more damage as well, okay? So um, let's talk about how to finish the standing gear, okay? There's a few things going on. I wanna come around, I just want, See how my thumb just kind of comes out of your jaw here? Like it just comes out right there. That's all I need, right? You can even practice this cupping the chin. We'll start this way a little bit more. Okay, so one thing is if my thumb is up, it's pretty easy to get out in a couple of different ways. Put your thumb up. So your thumb is up. So if I just swing my hips around, I am out and I can be doing our side body lock takedown from our first set of class, okay? So feel that real quick, look. My thumb is up, swing your hips that way. You're out, single leg take, you have so many options, okay? Um, so if we turn our thumb like we're checking our watch, turn your thumb that way, I can't do that anymore, okay? Now. Let's think about strengths and, and also weaknesses, right? So as, um, when we start doing things like this motion, we're, we're you know strengthening like a rotator cuff, right? So anytime my elbow is, is engaged like that, right? So think about that as a weakness, right? That's a smaller muscle group and it, it's just, it's not as strong as some other motions that I could do. I wanna engage larger muscle groups on this choke if possible. Then also think about this. You can do a, a high pull, but you only get up so far before you start having to like bend over backwards, right? So it's, you know, it's kind of um, a, a, an illusion. We see the person coming up on their tippy toes. There is a little component of lifting, but it's actually, instead of raising, it's more pushing away, okay? So I want you to think about um, almost like how a bodybuilder would flex, all right? We're gonna try and engage our lats and our biceps a lot on this. So essentially, we're rolling our shoulder forward a little bit and bringing our elbows forward when we do that. And when you do that, you feel a lot of flexion down here in your lats, right? Very large muscle. So, and oh, well, that's part of what I'm, you know, applying the connection to get this guillotine working, okay? So here, I want this shoulder on the side I have his head on to kind of roll forward to keep him in there. I wanna turn and check my watch, thumb towards me so he can't pop his head out, right? And then I get my grip, nothing fancy here, just this, okay? So I'm coming through right past his jaw, right? I'm turning and I'm grabbing essentially my knife hand, but I'm making a fist, okay? Then from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push him away with my elbows. Boom, like that, okay? So shoulders forward here, I'm pushing away, and that also raises him up a little bit, okay? So we'll show it on this side, all right? Then, as I've got the grip here, I'm pushing away with the elbows, I'm also going to step back into base. So that side I have his head on, I want to leave that foot forward. I'm stepping back into base here, right? So I can um, not have to raise up so much. So here, if I just start raising, uh, if I had to bend over backwards a little bit, what if he's, he's counting, right? He's doing some of the defenses we'll teach. So I want to step back into that four point base like when we're doing the front tackle defense, right? And then it's going to be pushing him forward right there. See, I barely do anything once I apply base and all the things we're talking about, okay? So 
I want you to practice that standing guillotine, step back into base, and then we're gonna, we're gonna tie that in, like we talked about a second ago, from here, you're just gonna guide that head through. Then we'll do, oh, I need you, and that it made you even more susceptible to stack out that head through, okay? We don't want to go too deep around the head. That's what we're thinking about right now, okay? So this, if this is um, the arm you have forward, this leg will stay forward when you get ready to base, okay? So that means when it's time, you'll step back with this. Turn and check your watch. Grab your, the ridge of your hand. Roll this shoulder forward. Now, as you step into base, Push with your elbows. Good, freeze. Freeze where you are. Too far back. Step that back. Yes, that's better. That's better. Got what would have happened here? You were, you were here. Well, I can counter. I can step under with the throw over. Okay? I want that. I want you to have balance forward, back, and side to side. Okay? Just don't overswing that. That's common. Okay, so turn and check. Yes, good. Nice, step back. That's pretty good. Way better. <laughs> Way better. As you're stepping, push. Sink it all in in time. All together. Instead of, you got back, and then you kind of push. Be pushing while you're stepping back. Okay? Let's do it on this side this time. So this, that means this one will stay forward. This one will step back, okay? Push with your elbows as you do that. This one will stay forward. Whatever side you have the head on, that's gonna stay forward. Okay, so go ahead, get everything, step back, hold on. See? Oh, yeah. You gotta, if you have this, we swap sides. So this is the head. This stays forward. This steps back. Go. Bed. Bed. Okay. Now, step in like here. We're gonna guide here, right? And then look, that's the side I had the head on, so I'm just gonna step back into base there, okay? And it, look, if, if I step into base here, I'm gonna try and guide the head to the side. I do that, it's my, my wrist, I, you know, favoring one of my wrists right now. And we kinda, we kinda talked about this beforehand. I'm like, hey, when it gets to these parts, I'm gonna have to lean on them a little bit, right? So um, we need to be able to do this both sides. But on this, if you step back here, think about, I want the head under the arm that's full. So if you step back and that's your front leg, you will want my head on that. So I want you to think about that when it's time to stuff that head on this guillotine. Okay, you ready? Okay. So this neutral base, stop the front tackle, guide the head under your front leg side. Boom, base, nice. Good. Yeah, and just think. That's, you know, when you, you're you here and you're already in base, right? You got the choke. I want you to kind of sink that base back a little bit, but your elbows are pushing and locking them in place. Okay? Let's do that again. Stop the tackle. Base. Better. Little more push with the elbows. Little more. Yes. I think this elbow is pushing me away. Push me away. Both. That's better. Feel. I'm just pushing, nothing else. Here. Here. And you feel those large muscles engage all the way down, right? So, base. Yes. Good. Nice little adjustment. Right? Got it. rolled it up in there. Got that elbow in front. Start pushing back. Now, let's uh, go over base, knee, dingy. Okay? Base, knee, and knee. Good. Kind of lean on me a little bit more as you do that, you know, have even better connection and pressure. I mean, here's what I mean by lean on me. When I, when, when I was walking back in base a second ago, right, I was doing that. I'm pushing you away, but I'm also, like you feel how I'm, I'm, that's that shoulder coming forward. 
that's that kind of forward uh, forward leaning uh, pressure and connection and weight, just that distribution of weight. You sit, you know, weight in the balls of my feet, but like that. Okay, so defend knee, boom. Bed. Okay. So here's the thing. Um, not the first time you've seen a standing guillotine, I'm sure. Probably haven't worked on it a ton though. We will be working on it in, in trying to gain a really good understanding of it in the next three classes. And also, don't think about the standing guillotine just as like, oh, guillotine, yeah, I wanted to understand that. And the defenses too, yeah, those are good because we'll see a couple, you know, we see some defenses. Even the first of our next three classes, it's side control, but we're doing a guillotine defense that puts us in side control in that class. Okay, so you see a little bit of that, but it's gaining a wider understanding of a big theme in this class, headlock defense. Essentially every class, in some way or another, we've defended against a headlock, choke of some kind, or strikes. And that is self-defense, okay? Uh, people are gonna grab you here. They're gonna grab you here. I've, I've trained fighters over the years that they had really good striking, but they, they weren't the best grapplers in the world, you know? And um, one of those particular individuals still choked a guy unconscious. Uh, after tagging him, we had kind of got him, got him wobbly, and then just scooped up a, a guy's posture, kind of dove in, and just whoop, standing guillotine, unconscious. Kind of kind of pulled front headlock, uh, snapped him down with it a little bit, and that was it. The guy was, got kind of, kind of flash knocked out and then choked unconscious back to back. And it was that fast, right? And from somebody that alluded to jiu-jitsu class like the play. <laughs> so, I mean, they had knockout power in both hands. And, and, you know, it was just one of those things that he was still able to pull off a guillotine. And that's what I always kind of warn people on. Don't sleep on that uh, strangle. Um, even lightly trained people can be highly effective with getting a hold of your neck and squeezing. It's almost inherent to us, I believe, okay? So that's all of our standing base and our standing techniques, standing guillotine choke, front tackle defense. Um, we'll be moving on next to punch defense on the ground with what we call stage one and two punch defense. So let's get ready for that. Okay, so class seven punch defense in the guard. What we're gonna be working on here is controlling posture. Okay, but sometimes you have to break posture down to do that. So we'll say a little about that. And then we'll also show some ways that we can take advantage of people punching to break their posture. Okay, so we'll do kind of a, against somebody uh, attacking and then just looking at it to learn like, oh, well, I'm not being attacked, but I'm trying to figure out how to break someone's posture. Because if somebody has an upward posture, just like I'm sitting right now versus they're you know, leaning down on you in the guard. Um, they can be more effective with strikes, okay? So what we wanna to seek to understand in this stage one punch defense is how to um, basically control posture, but also manage distance, do some damage control, and all of that comes down to understanding and, and looking at where their posture's at and then controlling their posture, okay? So um, let's look at you having just posture and guard. You're going to be in my guard and just upright on your knees. So if we're a striker, this is our guard, right? When we're standing up and we're doing some of our punch defense, our hands are our guard. If we are down on the ground, on our back, somebody's between our legs, like we saw after the bridge and roll mount escape in the first few classes, our guard is our legs. So we want to understand breaking posture first with our legs, because we're gonna use that every time, even if it's hidden attacking. So the big mistake is I feel like everybody tries to pull down like 45 degrees, right? They'll be trying to grab the head, whatever, and pulling down this way. I want you to think instead of your legs pulling under his low back there, horizontally forward, okay? That allows me to come into one of our forms of posture control, okay? So when I'm coming here, I wanna grab the head and the arm, okay? And I'm, I'm, I'm head in here so I don't get head butted. Right? If I just kinda hanging out right here, he can, he can hit with his head, so I wanna be controlling. 
Okay, so that's posture control. So we need to be able to break posture and control posture. Okay, so posture back up, right? I'm pulling him horizontally down and I'm grabbing. I'm pulling horizontally down. I'm grabbing his head here on the back of the neck. And then I'm coming here on the back of the shoulder, pinching down, okay? I want him looking away and I don't want him to be able to headbutt me. Those are the key tenets. And then we'll get into um, some drills from here, okay? Now, I want you to try and touch my face, okay? So look, I did like an oblique crunch. Let's turn this way a little bit. Touch my face. Oblique crunch here. And then I'm taking his back. All right, there's different things we can do from here. We'll see in other classes. We don't want to get picked up and slammed here and we don't want him to bring his arms back over, okay? Um, so there's, there's different things we can do to attack and be effective that we'll see again in future classes, okay? But if he touches my face, touch this side now, I want to oblique crunch and pass that, okay? And this will um, stop him from, from touching my face or from hitting me. Let's say he's trying to do a straight punch here to my face. Do a straight punch. Same thing here. Boom. Okay, straight punch. So this is kind of getting into some stuff we saw with the last class, um, which would be um, back control, right? I'm so close to having his back when both of his arms are on one side. And, um, and I can also, there's no base here. I can also sweep pretty, pretty easily. Okay, so <clears throat> I want you to think about defending events, face touches and straight punches, and then just pulling down and getting on the back of the neck and around my arm. Okay, let's do that with your head. Like you lay your spine on this line out here. Yes. Okay, so first let's just get, get my posture down and I want you to kind of over on that one side and then the head, okay? Pull my posture down. Yes, good, okay, so there's, yeah, back of the neck, mm-hmm, and then back of the shoulder, yes, okay, but one adjustment, we don't want this to be under the back of the head, okay, so swim and over, into like an over my arm position, you get, you ended up under on this side, and be over instead, yes, there you go, just like we do that bridge and roll mount escape that way, okay, so go ahead and get the neck here, and then got the shoulder there. So this makes it hard for me to, you know, it's not impossible, and we're gonna go over that, but it makes it hard for me to address things, okay? Tuck your head in, yes, okay. So you wanna be able to hold here if I lean back. Yes, that's very good, okay? And then we'll start adjusting. Oh, hey, if I come on this side, if I go under your head, what to do, okay? So pull me down again and get into that position. One. Yes, good pummel. Good, again. Posture control, pull me down. Nice, good. Nice, and I have a habit of going right here because I know I can do some things. And you're like, no, don't do that. But that's kind of how I did it there earlier. I just kind of naturally go here. It's my instinct, okay? Uh, so good. Um, now, I want you to think about the face touch. So if I'm coming here, you're gonna oblique crunch, yes. And you can go to an arm triangle sort of position, just gift wrap options, okay? So I'm here, boom, good. Let's do the other side. Good. Good, right? And I feel my knees are coming off the mat when you do this. Add that point that leg down with the legs slightly. I'm over committing, you're redirecting. That oblique crunch engages as well. So good job there. Now let's do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, boom. I'm gonna hit you like, pop, pop, like that. Just the one punch though, right? So deflect the punch. <laughs> good, that was a close one. Right, right on time though, right? Here, boom. Yes, my knees are coming off the mat there. Good, pulling and deflecting. Good, nice, okay. So those are the, the main things there. That, that's more like a back take when we defend the punch. There's a lot of ways that we'll see to defend punches in the guard, right? And they're so simple. It's not, when I say a lot of ways that don't, you know, it's 
they're not complex and they're, they're simple ideas. Like there, that's the ones coming straight. You know, sometimes they come here, sometimes they come to the body, right? So we'll have a, uh, you know, a couple good answers for whatever the case may be, okay? So <clears throat> let's talk about when they start trying to pummel in and control, okay? So let's swap on the top here. Okay, so we said that this is what we want. We want the, the head controlled, grabbing around the back of his neck, anchoring my elbow, and then here is scapula, we're here. Okay, and here's the thing. Like our base, I have to be mobile. If he does sneak, start crawling your fingers out and like pummel inside. If he starts doing that, I, I've got to adjust or I'm going to end up with an arm under my head and him smashing me and I'll have to do something else. Come back. So pull my hand back inside again. Just like that. Okay, see so yeah, how it almost like slides down my forearm. Pull my arm back inside. Here, okay? So that's how we address if you're trying to come under my head here, okay? Well, you can also, I wouldn't go over, right? Because I'll take your back by raising my elbow. But swim your, sneak your fingers under on this side. Let's turn a little bit. Sneak your fingers under on this side. Yes, so right, yeah, on, yes, that. So you're trying to come under my head there. See, not good for me either. Like I was saying, I was like, hey, I kinda wanna put my hand there anyway, you know? So he, he can uh, sneak inside there. So what I have to do when that is uh, going on is I have to switch sides. So if I have an overhook on this side, your head is this way. It, it, facing that way, right? I've got to it, it, like exactly switch orientations. If you keep your head turning, turn your face towards me. I want to push, like I'm almost like I'm punching you, but this knuckle in the jaw there and then control, okay? So if you try and come in here, see how I'm doing that? I'm doing that and switching sides. If your face turns to face me, here, boom. Because I don't want you, um, you have a little more options here, right? If you're, if you're facing me on how you can open up and get this arm out. So I wanna turn you here, right? So let's walk through that together. Okay, let's just break posture, okay? So just break posture, pull me down. Boom, okay, get the control you want. Over hook and then my head and elbows in. Good. Good. That's connection. Good job. Okay, now if I pump one side, you pump. Yeah. Good. And like let it slide down your forearm like what we're talking about. Yes. Yes. Pummel when I pummel. Good. Start a little center. Yes. A little there you go. One more time. That was the best one. Okay, now I'm trying to sneak in here, okay? Now, first off, like I was doing that so I could kind of talk to you. You want my head here, okay? So if my head's ever here, go ahead, yeah, turn my head. Yeah, good job, now there's that, okay? So let's say I'm trying to sneak in here. That's when you gotta switch sides, switch, what, grab my head with this one, okay? Good, now pummel. Nice, my face is here, push it. Good, a little bit more here. Yeah, that's a terrible, good job. Okay, and then grab that scapula here, okay? I'm sneaking back in on this side, switch the head grips, push me over. Oh, I didn't like that at all, control here. Good, okay. Not bad at all. Um, so you gotta be able to pummel. You gotta be able to switch sides, right? And just think like, when you control me down like that, I'm gonna either try and posture up, you're able to stop that. I'm gonna try and pummel back inside on the arm that you have control and go under your head, or, or posture up. If I get certain unraveling, I'll be able to get up. If you control me, if you keep me down, you're gonna be more effective. And that's just all uh, we wanna take away from this stage one defense. But what we'll see in the next few classes it is we'll see okay well i'm doing that and then they really start trying to get out in this way we'll see submissions we'll see different things that we can do to attack and that 
is going to be um, added on to what we're seeing today. So stage one and two is our first kind of big way we're trying to understand punch, defense, and guard. So we'll move on to stage two next and go over some of the key tenets for that. Okay, so stage two punch defense. Here's what we wanna think. I'm controlling posture, I've got him down, but again, it's not a perfect operating system. I can't just stay there. We saw already we have to do things if we wanna control that situation. We have to pummel, we have to switch sides, we have to turn his face, we have to defend against punches and headbutts while doing all of that. So if I've got his posture down here, right? And I'm here. If he starts um, hitting me with um, an arm, right? Let's go ahead and uh, turn kind of diag diagonal this way. So here, see how, yeah, you got that? I'm gonna come here, okay? That's what we call a single wing guard. Now from here, I can switch to his uh, triceps, right? So when he starts hitting that body, right? I come here, okay? If he starts trying to hit on this side, I can go double wing, okay? Now, when I, when I obtain this wing, I flare, I put my head on the mat, and I raise my hips, okay? Can you hit me? Definitely. Can you touch no, my face? I can't. Can you headbutt me? No. Okay. Good job, Brian. Good job. All right. So, here, headbutt me. Boom. Yeah, were you about to break my nose right there, okay? Um, and then, too, like, um, you know, let's just say I'm not uh, flaring my knees out really. See if you can come out and punch me. Yes, right? Um, and then, uh, like, you can literally just take your triceps straight back and then come over the top of my knee. Boom. Right? So if I'm not if I'm not connected, just pull straight back. Boom. Right? And think about don't come inside, come over. Boom. Okay? Pull straight back. That's terrible for me. Okay? All right? I want to flare out. I want to have grips going over the back of your tricep and I want my head on the mat. That stops all of the stressful situations of you headbutting me, you getting this arm free and coming with an overhand, okay? So stage two punch defense is understanding single and double wing open guard when someone is trying to strike at you. When you have stage one already in place, okay? So if he starts trying to hit on this side, boom, I'm here. That single wing. From here, we'll see in the other classes how I can go to what we'll call a Valley Tudo guard. Because I'm right there. Okay, and I can I can hit myself. So here though, when I when I'm here, if he starts trying to hit here, same thing. Go to the triceps, hips up, head on the mat, legs flare. The hips up makes it extra uh, connection and not uncomfortable on him. Okay, let's lay down here. Okay, so you've got me in stage one here. You broke my posture. Okay, go over that. Good job. All right, my head's turned the correct way. You got my neck. Good job. Good connection. Get your head tucked in. But I start hitting you, right? Either side, right? This one, the hand's really free. Here, if you do a good job, I can't really come back in here. So I'm gonna hit you here, right? And you're, think about going, knee, bringing your knee to your elbow. Boom. Now grab the tricep. Good. Put on the hip. Good. Now, um, I want you to kind of push your foot off my hip a little bit, right? And raise your, yeah, that's, that's very uncomfortable. Good job. Okay, and get monkey grip over the back of my tricep. Yes, like oh, hooking all the way around. Good, we've got a little foot connection there. A little lift. Nice. Now I'm gonna start hitting you here. Knee elbow. Uh-huh, good. Raise your hips. Head on the back of the mat. All right, can't do anything crazy. What about, you? like, bit your nose off or something crazy? Right. Wouldn't that be pretty, crazy? You're pretty crazy. We don't wanna get our nose we'll bit off. We're, we're, that's a new, a new line of defense we're thinking about, apparently. Yeah. Right? But, guys, um, I'm here to tell you, it, uh, if you've ever seen somebody get their nose brutally broken, <laughs> like, I would rather get it brutally broken than bitten off. But, man, I've seen some mangled noses over the almost two decades of doing this, right? 
And then, um, you know, whether it's from punches, elbows, whatever, it's like, it's, uh, it's definitely somewhere we want to protect. You get your nose uh, opened up, uh, your eyes are going to water, and you're not, your vision will be obscure, uh, uh, obscured. It's, it's no good, okay? So, back to stage one. Let's break posture. Okay, pull me down. Boom. Nice. Good. Uh-huh, okay, so I start hitting the elbow. Triceps control, good. The elbow, triceps control, both feet on the hips. Lift your hips, head on the back. Hi, that's very uncomfortable. It's almost mean. Is that what I felt like when I did to you? Man, all right, good job. Okay, so I want you to remember we're gonna keep doing stage one and two in the next two classes. So when people start trying to posture up, they're giving you a submission. When they're trying to posture up, they're giving you a sweep, right? There are other stages of punch defense we'll learn in later classes. And when we do those, we'll work those off of our stage one and two, okay? So I want you to think is uh, punch defense in the guard, I like to use the word continuum, right? Because it's something you get looped into and it always goes back to core tenets, posture control. I have your posture down. So I'm always kind of wanting to go back into stage one. Okay, so think about when we get that stage two, we transition there, we transition back into stage one. We can go to like a valet tudo guard, which is kind of an intermediary off of this where we can attack, but more importantly, what our guard's about right now and how we're understanding it is to defend. You start getting punched, somebody's raining down several shots from the top, you're on your back, gravity's not your friend, the ground's in the way, it's a not a good situation to be in, and we wanna equip everybody taking this class, watching, you know, following along, we wanna teach you how to be prepared for that, okay? So, good work. Um, we'll uh, carry on with class number eight and keep looking at these guillotine and guillotine defenses and punch defense. All right.